Oh my god, you guys. If you use apple cider vinegar in place of water to wet your nose when you're doing a pore strip, it sticks like 10 times more. It hurts, so try it at your own risk and don't come at me when you're crying, all right? Okay, so jumping right on in with a clean, fresh face. I already toned. I just used my Dickinson Witch Hazel Toner and then waited a few seconds for that to set in and then moved on with my moisturizer. This moisturizer I've shown in my um, updated skincare routine. It is the Avalon Organics Intense Vitamin C Moisturizer. It is my holy grail and you can probably see here how much I love it. I'm trying to get it in focus there. I just dot it on my face and then go in with my hand and press it into the skin. I try not to rub it and I'm very gentle around the eye area. For primer, I'm using the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. Primer Blur, blur Stick, is, it, is that what it's called? Milk Makeup Primer Blur Stick something like that whatever but I actually really like this um, primer it does give like this filter effect you will see as I'm putting it on it looks filtered it looks blurred and I actually really like it Next, I'm gonna set my moisturizer and primer in with the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. This is the Prime Correct and Set 16 hour setting spray. Um, I really like this. When you spray it on, you can feel that it's locking everything in and it helps prevent anything, any makeup, any foundation, any cream to settle into my fine lines and pores. I actually really like this. So to save some time, I did do my brows off camera and then I prepped my eyes with the soft ogre paint pot. And then my foundation is the Wet n Wild Foundation, Photo Focus Foundation in Golden Beige. I'm using a flat top kabuki brush. I think this is what it's called, the flat top foundation brush. This is from Sigma. And I like to pat it in rather than swirling it around or stippling it. I like to pat it right into the skin. This gave me the most coverage and it's it, it, it kind of melts into my skin way better. And then to get rid of any excess foundation that I don't need on my face, this helps to eliminate oil throughout the day. I go in with my Real Technique sponge and I just pat it over and that's what's, it's gonna soak up any excess that I have on my face. It also helps get rid of any brush strokes that I may have. The concealer that I'm using is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I use the shade Creamy Beige. I put this on my nose too, you will see in a second. This really helps with keeping my foundation on. I know it should go under the foundation, but I put it on top and it really works. It makes my nose look completely poreless and smooth and soft. This has worked the best. I tried the, um, someone told me to try the eye primer on the nose and it didn't work. I tried the MAC Paint Pot on my nose. It just came out really blotchy and it took everything off my nose, like my nose contour wouldn't stay on, but this really works. So I'm just gonna put it under my eye, on my nose, and I did do a little bit on my chin, but I didn't show it.
And then I set all of my concealer with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I really press that into the skin, my under eye, and my nose. And then the rest of my face, I set with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. So I went ahead and did the one eye first just to save some time. I'm using one palette for this look and it's my go-to palette lately. It's the Lorac Unzip Palette. I absolutely adore it. It works for day and night. I started off with using the color Undercover which is the lightest one there. With a very large fluffy brush, use whatever you have and I set my entire lid with this. Next, I'm gonna go with my transition color. I'm taking the color Unconditional with my BH Cosmetics fluffy brush, blending brush. And I'm just gonna put this all over my crease and above it, just the tiniest bit, because when I look straight ahead, you can't really see my crease because my my saggy eyelids kind of like sag over. So I have to lift it up a little bit. So that's a little bit tricky. If you have eyes like me, put the color above your crease just a little bit. Next, I'm gonna take the color Unspoken. This is gonna be my outer V color. I'm gonna pack this onto my outer V, and then when I get the most color payoff on my outer V, I'm gonna sweep my brush over into my crease. Last but not least, the color Unreal is going to go into my inner two thirds just for a little highlight. And I'm just going to pack this on with a fluffy shader brush. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Milani Shadow Eyes and Champagne Toast. This is my all-time favorite inner corner highlight product. I use it all the time and it stays put and it doesn't smudge. To really make this look pop, I'm gonna go in with this, with this very dramatic eyelash. It's from Pro Max, number 521. I use this one all the time. It fits my eyes really nice, but it might be a little bit too dramatic for some of you. So go with whatever you want. You can use just mascara if you like for a more toned down look, or go for something dramatic. Live a little. Now I'm going in with 
the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder. I'm in the shade Tan Beige. I'm just gonna take a fluffy kabuki brush and then buff this all over the translucent powder. To finish off my eyes, I'm going to go in with the color Unspoken, which is my outer V color. I'm going to put this on my bottom lash line, and then I'm going to blend it out with um, the transition color, which is Unconditional. For bronzing and contour, I'm going to use the Anastasia Contour Kit. I'm going to take the lighter shade right there and bronze with this, and then take the middle shade in the palette and contour with it. For my lips, I'm going to use the Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream. This is in the shade, what shade is this in? Oh god, where's the shade? Loved. <laughs> I absolutely love this product. I like all of their shades. Um, it's a bit drying, but I can deal with it. I just prep my lips really good. But this color is like my everyday wear, summer, spring, winter, fall. I use this color any day, any time. Lastly, for the face, I'm going to go in with my highlighter, the Anastasia Glow Kit in the color Bubbly.
that, you guys, is my final look. This is my go-to glam. You can tone it down or tone it up depending on the eyelashes and the lip color that you wear. I glammed it up with the very dramatic lashes and these soft curls. By the way, these are three-day-old curls that I just styled into place. Um, but if you want a hair tutorial, then let me know down below and I will give you one. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. I will see you guys next week.